Well, hello, AD. Welcome to our home. Thank you to Casterly for sponsoring today's video. This is our two bedroom apartment in downtown Brooklyn. We're actually kind of bordering Fort Greene, but it's downtown Brooklyn. New York apartments aren't that big. So of course I'm gonna spend like one minute of the video just talking about our wonderful entryway. So this is our entryway. I've always wanted to have this like circular mirror, but of course my wife's like, we can't just have a mirror here, Jossie, without having an entryway cabinet. So we have the cabinet for like storage and then we can hide away shoes and store away our keys because I lose the keys like every other day, or at least I did before we got our entryway cabinet. All right, moving on. So we're going to mosey on over to the kitchen. So this is our kitchen. I love this kitchen. Now it's a unique kind of layout because it's like open concept, but it's like in its own corner. I've always wanted to have like an island. What I like about this kitchen is it's separate. So we have plenty of space for our dining room and like living room whole situation. So as you can tell, it is a paneled type of design. So our appliances and our cabinetry have the same like vibe. All right, that's, that's too Gen Z. <laughs> same aesthetic, they got the same aesthetic. Love the paneled appliances. So um, this is the fridge. Yeah, so this is our fridge. Want me to open it up? Yeah. Should I open it up? Open. All right, we're gonna close it. Oh, yeah. We're gonna close it. And then we have our freezer, which is like, this is not a freezer. This is a mini fridge. Like this is literally a mini fridge. And um, we cook a lot, so whew, that was kind of loud. Kitchens are important to us. Now, over here we have our Nespresso, obviously. Gotta have an espresso, but we've been making pour over more recently just because we run out of espresso pods like every week. We also installed this Ikea floating shelf. And I love it because it like fits with our aesthetic. Obviously the wood is not the same exact color, but it's close enough. And honestly, just extra storage. Yes, it's aesthetic, but it's functional. That's one thing you'll learn about us people that live in New York. Functionality is just as important as aesthetics. And then obviously we got like the faucet. We have our sink spray. The countertops are sparkly white with like the speckled design, which I think fits perfectly with our darker toned cabinetry. All right, moving on to our dining room. It's such a long walk to get to the dining room. This is like my favorite place because I get a chance to eat here. So my favorite thing about the dining room are these chairs from Castlery. These are the Edith Kane chairs. And the reason why we went with them is because they give off this like Soho cafe aesthetic. That's just such a vibe. And they're also really comfortable And the seats, the material for the seats are actually spill proof. And then we have this really wonderful table from Ikea that we've had in all three of our last apartments the past three years and was just can't get rid of it because it's a leaf styled so you can fold down the edges to make it smaller just to have a bit more space. The unboxing experience for my Casterly products was one of the most seamless experiences I've had while setting up furniture. For one, the couch was really easy to install. All I had to do was attach the two modular pieces together. Both the Edith Kane chair and the Vinton coffee table set were really easy to build with similar instructions. The Seb nightstand came fully built. The only thing you had to do was install the handles for the drawers. The reason why we went with Casterly Furniture is because their pieces fit perfectly with our type of aesthetic, which is cozy, modern design that's functional, and low key but high quality at the same time. Casterly does an excellent job of making furniture that's timeless and not focused on the trend. Starting with the first piece added to our home, the Aziza area rug, which has made our bedroom experience so much cozier. You absolutely have to have an area rug underneath your bed to prevent your bed frame from sliding and causing damage to not only the frame, but the hardwood floor. The Seb nightstand has added extra storage and style to our bedroom. The quality of the acacia wood finish and modern design makes this nightstand a perfect fit to our bedroom. The nightstand has been amazing to use on a daily basis. I typically store my watches, jewelry, and occasional book, and of course, a glass of water when I get thirsty in the middle of the night. So I know the whole cloud couch style is super popular, so I couldn't pass up on adding the Dawson sofa to our home office to get that similar aesthetic. Let me tell you why I love this couch. For one, it makes my office space look warm and more welcoming and less sterile. Also, it's extremely comfortable. The cushions are so deep and soft. We definitely take naps here. 
As a matter of fact, this is supposed to be the workroom, but we find ourselves lounging, reading a book, and looking at the Brooklyn traffic to pass time. Not to mention that this is a modular couch, so let's say we move into a bigger space, we can add an additional seat. Having nice dining room chairs is very underrated. We decided to add the Edith Kane dining room chair with the white quartz, boot clay, and whitewash wood to complement our other wooden finishes throughout our space. The open weave backrest is our favorite feature of this chair, and it definitely gives our space those Soho Cafe vibes. And most importantly, these chairs are solid wood, and the boucle seats are spill resistant. Since we live in a larger space, have a second bedroom, I decided to add the Vincent coffee table as a centerpiece to separate the tech office vibe from the lounging area in the second bedroom. We decided to go with the Vincent coffee table with the oak finish. My favorite thing about this set is how versatile they are because of the elegant curvature and slim silhouette. We decided to use a larger coffee table from the set for the home office and the smaller coffee table acts as a side table in the living room. Thank you to Casterly for sponsoring today's video and you can check out the Casterly products I showcase in this video linked in the description box. Moving on to actually my favorite room, not the dining room, I lied, the living room because I get a chance to watch TV here with the most wonderful person in the world. After work, of course, not during work hours. Mm -hmm. But this is our living room. So this rug, guys, with this apartment, we kinda got out of our comfort zone. We went with this like artisanal style, is that the right word? Artisanal styled rug. We bought this locally. Um, we bought a couple rugs locally here in Brooklyn. And it's just like a nice centerpiece because as you can tell, we're pretty minimal. This was definitely out of our comfort zone. Anyways, the couch. So this couch is from Costco. I've always wanted a coffee table, but my wife always reminds me that it's better to have an ottoman than a coffee table because it's way more cozy and she's right. And every time I look at y'all that don't have ottomans and y'all have those small couches, I'm like, I know y'all are uncomfortable. <laughs> Moving on to the TV media entertainment area we finally got our tv mounted this is our first time ever mounting a tv as and we've been in college i've been in college. college we've had apartments since college so you're talking like eight six years of apartment living how am i six years of apartment living and it's our first time mounting a tv got the sonos sound system we got the sub mini we have the beam 2 and then we have this wonderful ikea media console we have our ad book because what's a home without coffee table book. This acts as like an end table and we can have books and honestly just a prop that just makes the space feel a little bit more homey. These windows like looked way smaller in the pictures that we saw on Street Easy, but these windows are like huge, kind of like picture frame windows. And I like that we have this window ledge. Sometimes I sit here. Our view to the Northwest is Manhattan and you can see the East River and all the wonderful ferries. It's just such a vibe to wake up in the morning, drink some coffee, look out the window and see the Manhattan skyline along the East River. Amazing. We can look out to Williamsburg. You see the Williamsburg Bridge and then down this way is Fort Greene and all the way down to like, I don't even know, like Bed-Stuy. This view is incredible. Honestly, what sold us on this apartment. I also like to open up the window just to hear the city, just to get me, get me pumped. Get me pumped, you know what I mean? Forgot to talk about our wonderful, I think this is a Japanese palm tree. It's hard to keep up, but hey, still kicking. All right, moving on to this area. So this is kind of like our little feng shui corner. It's like a little spa. Let me turn this light on. And we have, we, we honestly didn't know where to put this mirror, but it kind of makes sense. You get dressed here and then you come over here. All right, do I look crazy? And then you go over there, put your coat on your hat. Do I still look crazy? And then you go out the door. But over here is kind of like our feng shui spy area. We have this wonderful picture of Manhattan. We have an oil diffuser, something we also never did in any of our apartments. We have another cabinet from Target. Then we have a bathroom, which, you know, it's a bathroom. We're actually not gonna go to the master bedroom. We're gonna head over to the home office. So just follow me. This is where the magic happens. So you can say, this is my dream space, kind of our dream space, because it's a mixture. It's like mixed use. It's a mixed use room. Mm -hmm. So 
we wanted to have the perfect blend of like, all right, we're going to get stuff done, head down, heads down work, working from home, working on content. That's the, you know, office tech corner with the floating shelf. We got the, the YouTube plaque. Shout out to y'all because I wouldn't have been able to do this without you guys. And I love y'all. Um, and then we have this incredible, it's so sunny right now. This is insane. But this really incredible view of downtown Brooklyn. And you can actually see like Barclay Center and all these incredible buildings along unnamed street because I don't want you guys to know exactly where we live. This part of the room is a really cozy area. We have another Benson coffee table. This is the bigger one. And here I honestly just sit books, especially ones that I want to make sure that I always have a reminder to read like the defining decade. I sit it right here. So I'm always looking at it to remember to read my 10 pages for the day. This is the Dawson sofa by Castor Lee. This sofa is mad cozy. And then you can take, you can remove these pillows and it really acts as a bed. Believe it or not, these are not from West Elm. These were made by my extremely talented wife slash camera woman right now, Liana. She painted three of these. And then that one is just store-bought like painting. But yeah, she, she made these guys. She's incredibly talented. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you like these paintings. <laughs> and then I'm actually gonna all right, so moving on from the super cozy home office and walking across the apartment to our humble abode, our master bedroom that has these incredibly scenic views with endless buildings and rooftops in downtown Brooklyn in Fort Greene. All right, so we have Brooklinen sheets and we have the Seb nightstand and we actually don't go with like a set of nightstands and the main reason is because if, when people come visit, People want to come chill out, hang out with Lee or me, and they're like sitting there and we're like sitting on the bed and in the bedroom and talking and stuff like that. I store all my like jewelry and watches and stuff like that and sit some of my favorite books like Houdinki. And then we have like our walk-in closet, which I'm not going to take you through because it's it's not a mess, but it's a closet. But you can walk in it. I'm in it. I'm walking out of it. So that's our closet. And then over here we have Liana's work from home set up. I got the Govee. We have like, like I mentioned earlier, you can sit here and relax. And then, like I mentioned, Lee actually has the best view in the house. So when she's working, she can see East River. I'm 99% sure that's the Williamsburg Bridge. And also LIC, which is such a vibe. Oh, and apparently, like I knew this, of course. Apparently. Because <laughs> I bought it. But uh, this was a first teddy bear that I bought, Liana. Yep. Oh, what's this? We've shown you... Everything, actually. I've shown you the entryway, the kitchen, the dining room, the living room, the uh, home office, our little spa area, our one bathroom. I almost forgot. Oh, yeah. Yes, in-unit washer dryer. This is uh, really nice to have, like, having a washer and dryer in your unit is a luxury, like here. That and, like, a dishwasher, and we have both, so we're extremely blessed. Our microwave sucks, though. That concludes our tour. Thank you, A.D. <laughs> Lee, <laughs> for taking a tour in our two-bedroom apartment in downtown Brooklyn. If you all like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below your favorite thing about our apartment, and we'll see you all soon. Peace. I actually always wanted to say this. Y'all ain't got to go home, but you got to get the, the body here.